guys, today we're doing something a little bit different, or at least new for those of you that have been watching us. All through November this year and leading into the holiday shopping season, we were seeing a lot of advertisements through social media for Strikeman, uh, a device, it's a dry fire laser device that you use at home. It looks like they send you uh, something that you use with an app and a laser in your device to help you track where your dry fire accuracy is at. Uh, we were seeing it all over different social media platforms. It was less than hundred bucks to get it shipped here. So we're gonna go through and, and see if it's something that we would recommend for our viewers. All right, so let's go through this piece by piece, see what we got in here. So far, we got a couple pieces here. Packing list. All right. It's got a separate box, looks like for the laser from the rest of the, the device here. So this is the nine millimeter. This is the laser that will go into the chamber and looks like it'll, it'll shoot a laser out the barrel when you fire, uh, when you squeeze the trigger and the striker hits it. All right. Some nice cellophane wrapped around here. It's not a bad little box. Yeah, so far for the, for $100 shipped, the quality doesn't seem that bad at all with what we're getting here. Here's the first set of instructions about the laser. Looks like it talks about the distance in using it. We got what looks like a target here. We got a few extra pieces right here. All right, so right now I'm looking at what looks like a tripod for your phone. A couple of suction cups. Looks like the base for this target right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and download the app on my phone and we'll see how far we get with the loading the batteries into the bullet and loading the bullet into the firearm. We'll go from there. All right, so this is how the laser device comes when you pull it out of this box right here. It's got three batteries that come with it. We're gonna see how, how easy this is to do here. So it said to put the engraved side down into the, the bullet. So the engraved side is the, the more flat side it looks like. Let's see if that first one drops in there. That one spins around on me a little bit there. There we go. Put this top part back on. And it looks like this is the button. Yeah, it looks like it's already coming on for me. The tripod that we have is different than the tripod that they use in the video. So we had to take it apart, turn it around, put it back together. It was different than what they showed in the video, but it wasn't hard to figure out. There wasn't any actual set instruction on how to put everything together. So it should be pretty easy. Kind of, kind of a guy way, I guess. You don't need too many instructions, or you can just figure it out. Many, many minutes later. There we go. All right. All right. So it says between two and five feet. So, just for the purpose of this video right now, we're gonna keep everything a little bit close. We'll we'll do some experiments with that a little bit further away, a little closer. Um, now the video says that it's capable. The the book. The paperwork that we get originally says two to five feet. In the video, he said up to 10 feet, but recommend, recommend two to four. So there's already a few things that are definitely different from the video in comparison to what we have in front of us here. So we'll do five of these and then we'll see how well it tracks it. We are pretty close. All right. All right, so now we'll stop this. So it looks like it gives me a grouping, all five shots in the one in the one area here. Looks like I can download this, share it, um, start a new one. It's giving me a total score of 49. So five shots taken, average rating is a nine. So it shows, on the history it's showing, we have um, everything from the date, how many, our, what our average score is, it brought us up to a nine. Um, so, I don't know, average, it's got a pie chart in here. So we're gonna have to do a few more sessions. Uh, we'll do them at different distances 
and see what happens with the history and with this pie chart to let us know what it is that we're that we're trying to learn here. Right now, we're not having any issues. This is a pretty good session. Prior to this session, we noticed some issues on our on two different Android devices. This thing has given us a lot of phantom shots. Um, we went into the, the Google Play Store and, and the reviews for the app. There was, there was some other people complaining about the same thing, that it was recording shots that weren't being taken. Um, we tried to do that in a brighter, room we try to change the lighting it's still happening on the iphone device it wasn't doing the phantom shots but it, it wasn't registering all the shots there's a phantom one there the other things that we noticed there was a difference between the iphone and the android whereas when you first open it on the on the iphone it gives you an option for for a day mode or a night mode we didn't have that on the android also, if you notice here, when I want to stop this one and start a new one, it zooms back all the way out to start a new one. I have to zoom back in on the target. I have to do my red circle all over again, pick the, pick the distance and start again. On the iPhone, it stays right there. When you stop and start a new one, it's, it's set where you last left, it off, left off at. You don't have to reset anything. My mom got a new got something from Santa Claus this year. So before going to the range with it, she came over and, and got some, some time with her trigger press before going to the range with it. And that worked out. Actually, we wasn't having any glitches when she did it at that time. So sometimes it's great. There was also in the video, when the, the guy's giving you a description of how everything works in the video, how to use it, he said that when you go into history, you'll be able to, see this is the pie chart it gives you, but like I said, it's just, it's not accurate. I can't use this pie chart for anything. Um, when you view your previous sessions, in the video he was showing us how there's options that you can do with these sessions. I can delete certain ones that I don't wanna keep in there. There's no options here. You can view each session, where it left off, download it, share it. Um, other than that, there's, there's no other options like you were describing. All right, so we've been using Strikeman system for seven days now. Um, as you saw earlier, we were having some issues with the app itself. Um, we saw, like they mentioned in the video, making sure that you have enough light. We've used it in different lit areas, different types of lighting. Um, dim lighting is, doesn't work as well. When it comes to the setup and how to work it, how to operate everything, it's pretty easy. When we first started this, I tried to kind of do it as like in a, in a layman way. but. Honestly and truly, this thing is super easy to set up, super easy to figure out, super easy to operate. Um, it's not very technical at all to, to get everything rolling and moving. As far as recommending this for, for our viewers or for friends and family, I, I gotta say no. $100 sent to us, it's less than 100 bucks, but, but honestly, <clears throat> with the app not working, the laser itself is really all that we're gonna really get out of this, out of this system because we can't keep track of our history, we can't keep track of, of if we're getting better or not. Would re recommend some things for the app. If, uh, if you get the app fixed <clears throat> to where you don't have the phantom shots and it is registering all your shots, um, from there, something that would be really cool is if the thing had a built-in shot timer. So where it's, <clears throat> even if, so if you're, if you're kind of using it at a distance, you can even have maybe a shot timer that goes off every so many seconds. You can set it at like every 30 seconds it has a random or every 15 seconds it has a random, just depending on what you wanted to do. That way <clears throat> you could have a draw fire. You see where you're at from, from the draw to the, to the laser on target. You can have mag changing. You can actually get your time on with your accuracy at the same time. It would be very cool to have added into this system. But again, until those glitches 
are fixed in the app. This is not something that we're going to be using um, the way that it's recommended to be used, and, and we don't we won't recommend it for our viewers. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, if, if you like this, of course, hit like. If you want to see more stuff like this and what we're doing with with uh, with Arm with Knowledge, go ahead and hit subscribe, hit that bell notification, and as always, run your drills, not your mouth.